Thank you for coming. Yes, youngling. Have a seat. I hear you've been busy of late. Lass, I know what you've been up to. Mind you, it's no business of mine what each companion does in the name of honor. But this sneaking around, it does not befit warriors of your standing. Aella knows better, and so should you. In any case, I have a task for you. Have you heard the story of how we came to be werewolves? The boy has a nugget of truth, but the reality is more complicated than that. It always is. The companions are nearly 5,000 years old. This matter of beast blood has only troubled us for a few hundred. One of my predecessors was a good but short-sighted man. He made a bargain with the witches of Glen Moral Coven. If the companions would hunt in the name of their lord Hirsin, we would be granted great power. They did not believe the change would be permanent. The witches offered payment, like anyone else. But we had been deceived. The witches didn't lie, of course, but it's more than our bodies. The disease, you see, affects not just our bodies, it seeps into the spirit. Upon death, werewolves are claimed by Hirsing for his hunting grounds. For some, this is a paradise. They want nothing more than to chase prey with their master for eternity. And that is their choice. But I am still a true Nord, and I wish for Sovngarde as my spirit home. That's what I've spent my twilight years trying to find out. And now I've found the answer. The witch's magic ensnared us, and only their magic can release us. They won't give it willingly, but we can extract their foul powers by force. I want you to seek them out. Go to their coven in the wilderness. Strike them down as a true warrior of the wild. And bring me their heads, the seat of their abilities. From there, we may begin to undo centuries of impurity. Good. Now move quickly. And don't... Talos guide you, lass. Still here. Let's get going, then. <laughs>